So here we are at the convention center for the 2021 Bigfoot convention. This is the place, my friend. I'm going to take you around and you are going to see everything there is to see. Oh my goodness gracious, who are you? Oh my goodness, come here. She don't hear you. Hello, how are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Now you're going to watch you watch me watching you. We have actually watched you at home and caught ourselves on your film. Very good. Thank you. I appreciate that. <coughs> Excuse me. Back last fall, I think I watched one of them the other day. Uh huh. And there was a lady you asked, who are you from? She said, Olive Branch, Mississippi. You know, and we're from Ripley. Which is nearby. Yeah, maybe 50 miles. Okay, not less than an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what do you think of this event? Yeah. Uh, we neighbors with uh, Dixie Cryptid here with Cameron. We're neighbors. We, he lives maybe about 40 miles. So you changed, did you come up just for this? Yeah. Wow. And it was our anniversary Friday. So. Ha, what an anniversary. Uh, thank you. Kind of you mix it up. Thing. Are you staying up here now? Yeah, yeah. we'll be here until we tomorrow. We'll okay. And what are you going to do after here? Uh, she's at the shop. <laughs> we went all up pigeon forage and all these big flea markets and everything. Okay. She said, I'm on the shop today. I said, okay. So what are you going to do? Huh? I guess spend my money on it. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> Don't you want to do something fun? Yeah, yeah well, we have been we come up here about maybe two or three times a year. Okay. And, uh, uh, we've been at work, seen a boast of stuff, you know, out and about. And we, you know. And my phone now is just kind of sitting around in the shade watching everybody else have fun. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. We get it old line of 60 years old. This time. I got you by quite a few years. Yeah. yeah. I'm pushing 70. Well, you don't, you look good, Sam. I, I feel great. Yeah. I feel very, very well. Well, we watch you. We watch uh, Yankee in the South, you know, mm -hmm. Don and Will, and we watch them. And, and uh, uh, of course, we watch all of Dixie Cryptid, you know, and Buckeye Bigfoot and everything. Right. And, uh, uh, but we enjoy it. We do. Of course we, you do. We enjoy it's it. It's Gatlinburg. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, Somebody says they didn't like Gatlinburg. Something wrong with them. There's got to be something. The screws are loose somewhere. My wife said, why don't we move up here? You know, sell a thing and move up there. I said, well, if we do, where are we going to go? We're going to vacation. <laughs> so we just come we're up already here. on vacation. That's right. right. That's Very right. Good. Anyone you want to shout out to? While you're uh, yeah, I'd like to shout out to my grandkids uh, back home. Uh, I've got 14. They take me higher. How many? 14. Grandkids? 14 grandkids. You didn't buy them at like Walmart? No, but they come with like a dime a dozen, I yeah, guess. Here's a nickel. Uh, Get me six. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Thank yeah. you for talking yeah, with me. Thank you. Thank and you. You. we'll see you on the radio and on TV. Okay. Thanks Very so good. much. Thank you have a blessed day. And your name again? Tim Robinson. Okay, Tim. This is where we got it on there. Very good. Thanks, Tim. There you go. I love it. I didn't even make it 10 feet in the door. And I met some of our watchers. <laughs> this is great. I love it. Let's see what's over here. Now this you have to wait for.
Now this is from the popular show, The She-Squatchers. You get all the merch from them right here. Very cool. Very, very cool. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You cute dog. A lot of these are people that have books, TV shows radio shows talking about Big Foot and having of course all the merchandise that goes along with it. Definitely lots of merchandise for you to choose from. If you're into Bigfoot, you just, you know, it's definitely unique. So you um, you buy this stuff and you're like going to be the only one in town that has this. Because you can't buy this stuff on the street. Meet the offer, Alex Niven. Hello. Wave. Now, who are you? And what is this all about here? It is a children's book that I wrote and has spent 11 months getting it done. And it's finally out and in hand and it's, I got it in my hand three days ago. So. And what is your story? Uh, I just wanted to do something more for children, you know, actually write something that kids nowadays will appreciate and like. Parents would not mind spending a little money for it to actually get a good story. And that's where Bobby comes in. Yes, Bobby is a... Uh, it's, it's my stepfather, Bobby, and then the other main character is Rachel, which is my wife, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Hi. How are you? So Hi. she's in part of the book as yes. well. How does it feel to be in the book? <laughs> no Hopefully you pay a good part. Do you have a good part in the yes, book? You know, like some evil witch or something like that. No, 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 no I'm no, not. No. Well, I, you never know. He's got a warped mind, I'm told. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> not yet. No, this is a children's book. Yes, sir. But and even where, people above age and all that will appreciate the book. And where can they find it? Uh, right now, I'll be here today, and I'm trying to get it on Amazon here soon. Um, it was a lot of delays on the book. I literally just got ahead in hand like three days ago, so I uh, could have been done back in March. Anything that's difficult, it's worth fighting for. Yes. Right. This is if it was easy, you'd have a stack of books here you wrote. Exactly. Right. That's what it's and all about. This is about. just one of many. Show in the me series. the book. Hold it up next to you. And that's Bobby. Bobby's kind of cute. Thank you. He, he's not big and ugly like the ones we run into in the woods. Oh, no. Or those ex-wives. I'm not really sure, but they could be. But no. Even the artworks and all that. Let me see. Look at that. Bob is big. Oh, yeah. And there's adventures. Yes. Now, we won't give it away. Family morals. But if you morals. want to 
picked one of these up. Can they order one online from you? Uh, yes. Um, currently on my Facebook group, Bobby Bigfoot Believers, is where I'm basing this off. I haven't gotten a website just yet going, so then focus on getting this in hand for this event specifically. Very good. Excellent. I wish you lots of luck. Thank you. And you too. Thank Wicked you. Witch of the West. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Wave to the camera. Thank you. Yeah, I think before the end of the day, I'm going to get out. Author of the Foggy Classic Series. Classic series. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good. Tell me about what this is. So I'm Do my name's Dr. Mills. These are my Bigfoot themed children's books. I also have a podcast called All Things Dash Unexplained. We've been up to 34 on the science charts recently, just behind Bill Nye's Science Guy at number four. Our goal, I'm telling people, is to catch Bill Nye and crush him and leave him behind. But <laughs> also my, my children's books, so let me show you these. So Go right in. Hold them up there to the camera like that. This one is a parody of a Robert Frost poem, Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening. This is called Squatching by Woods on a Snowy Evening. It's an introduction to cryptozoology for children. Parents love it as well. This next one is a counting book, but I like to say it's not your average counting book. Baby Bigfoot's Halloween Party Countdown. This, this was a thank you. This was a number one new release on Amazon. It's all it made it up to number two on Amazon bestsellers. Congratulations! All, thank you. I appreciate that. All my books are available on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, anywhere books are sold online. This book also comes with a website that goes into more detail on the deeper concepts in the book, the mathematical concepts. So I used to teach math. I'm still a professor on the college level. This is my contribution to the field of mathematics and Halloween and Bigfoot all rolled up in one. Let me show you this one. Sure. If you're familiar, I appreciate it. If you're familiar with Mo Willems, and most parents are, He's a tremendous writer of funny children's books. This one is a Mo Willem style book. It's called Let's Play Tennis. This made it up to number three on Amazon bestsellers. I play tennis. I actually, my tennis team just made it to state. I'm pretty ecstatic about that in North Carolina. Thank you. And and this takes my love of tennis. It even has a little bit of pickleball in here. I'm a, yes, sir, I'm a pickleball fan. It, but it's a Mo Willem style book because it's really funny. Parents love it. They, they cackle out loud when they're reading it to their kids. Kids love it. Kids think it's super funny as well. And it should be, right? That's it what it's it absolutely should be. And let's be honest, I have a seven-year-old and a four-year-old. That, that's the best books to read with your kids, yes. um, which is why I decided to write some of my own children's books because I, I just wanted something that I would enjoy too. <laughs> if you enjoy it, they got to enjoy it, yes, right? Yes, sir. And honestly, my kids are, are co-authors with me as well. Because, really? Oh, absolutely. So when COVID hit, you know, and my seven-year-old, for example, did go back to school for, oh, I don't know, a year, I said, hey, we gotta do something. Yeah. This ain't working. You're gonna help me write. <laughs> You're gonna help me write this book. Give me. I need your ideas too. Right. So my son and my daughter both contribute to the books. Um, Very nice. There it is. And again, here's my card. I'm gonna hold it up to the camera. Sure, please do. Right up close. Closer. My, closer. Closer. There you go. So squatching.com is where you can find my children's books if you want to know more about them. Squatching.com. Yes, sir. Squatching.com. My podcast. Who I have two great co-hosts that do it with me. It's called All Things Dash Unexplained. Wow. If you visit allthings-unexplained.com, you can listen to the podcast. It's also available anywhere you listen to podcasts. Um, Apple, Google. If you tell Alexa to play All Things Unexplained podcast, she'll crank it up for you. So please check it out. Let us hear from you. We'd love to hear from you. Check out my social media, Dr. Mounds. You're a busy, man. Thanks. Yeah, I like that. Great people here today. This is amazing. Look at that. You can get ladies. Look at this. Sasquatch bags. How cool is that?
How cool is that? And signs. Even hats. That's even scarves, hats, throw bags. Is that Mothman? Yes, it is. That's Mothman. Very never seen those, so that's yeah, very new. Yeah. That's Mothman. very, very yeah. new. Y'all yeti for this. <laughs> I like it. Nice stuff. Who makes them? You do the what it's a family affair. A good business to be in. Traveling the circuit? Is this what yeah, you do? Yeah, this yeah. is the first year, well, last year we tried to do it because of COVID. We uh, didn't do it. So, uh, scratch that off, erase that. Yeah. This is a new year, right? Yeah. This is a brand so this new year. This is the first time here. Very in good. Ohio. And uh, you drove down from Ohio? Yeah. Nice stuff. Oh, and you got an alien. There's an alien. You can see that there. Alien. There. Very cool. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Thank you. Got a cool stuff here. A lot of neat stuff here today. It definitely. <laughs> I love the stuff, doll. That's classic. That's classic. Hello. We got everything here. Look at this. Mugs. You want coffee mugs? <laughs> Being I'm a coffeeaholic. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Little Yeti dolls. Little Yeti dolls, more t-shirts, it's great. Got everything here. This is the Yeti. Hi, honey. Thank you. Oh no, I was gonna just take them Stickers, they've got stickers if you like stickers. Yeti stickers. Very cool. T-shirts. Sasquatch before Christmas. Interesting. If you're a believer, here's a believer section. You got all the stickers that you would want. Very nice. Hey, thanks for being a Good. What do you got here? Hand <laughs> handmade beard oil, and it's a uh, Bigfoot beard oil. I would need a gallon of that. Are you a hair? You're a hairy guy. Yeah, me too. If I took my shirt off, they'd think a Yeti was in this room. It isn't it great? Very good. This is very good. Where are you guys from? And, oh, just up the street. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And what else do you sell here? So we have our beard oil. We have uh, we partnered with another small business for some uh, puzzles. And Big we got some puzzles. Yeah. How cool! We got some iron signs. Some stickers. And stickers. Everyone loves stickers. Oh, yeah. Yes. Everybody and tote loves. bags or what we have left of tote bags. Very nice. <laughs> very very nice. Great. It's just a small bit of stuff that we. Uh, well, you can only put so store. much here. Right. Yeah. Well, we're actually um, opening a permanent booth up in Knoxville. Are and, you really? Yep. It's going to be at the Painted Tree. And Where's it's, that? Um, it's off of Kingston Pike. Kingston um, Pike. That's opening. the main drag. Near the Mayo Garden Center. Across the street, there's a little shopping mall back there. Mayo, okay. Yeah. Okay, I know what you're talking about. They're, they're opening up a huge uh, store with a whole bunch of different vendors in there. Wow. So it's going to be a permanent vendor booth in like that this. store. Yeah, just like this, but it's going to be inside of a store. So you can oh, very nice. go and browse around anytime you want. It's pretty cool. That is very cool. Yeah, yeah we, we call it a magical, geeky, unique gift machine. No, 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 I want you in there. I'm not sure about that. Uh, the camera will let me know. Right. Uh, 
John Green uh, took out the sport, and documented about the sport. He said when the big foot would stand up from the gate of the floor, they would stand up without using their arms. This lady did not know about Bigfoot research. Whoa. <laughs> Bigfoot in jail. <laughs> Bigfoot's in jail, and he's got a confused look on his face. Bigfoot. Bigfoot in prison. That's so sad. What do we got here? The quarry. Beware of the thing. These are cool. There's a new king of the beasts. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Young man, put him in this morning. to get out of here. You know, they're always trying to escape. You scolded him good? Just throw him some popcorn. <laughs> Thank you. You too. This is a cool get together today, isn't it? All the books that you want to know about Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Yeti. All the above names. And of course they've got some pretty scary t-shirts. Buttons. Gone squatching. Sasquatch stick. Let them hear you're here. Some artwork. Knock on her bedroom window to get some food. But they left me in the truck. My dad used to stay in the truck there. His dad didn't want to do Got some artists in work. Very cool. We're going to walk up here down to the driveway. We're going to see what's going on. We'll be back soon. Don't worry. So Jack was sitting in the driver's seat of his old pickup truck. And again, I'm not going to be doing that. But it was in the lot. And what is this? That's kind of different. Hello, lady. And so many cool things in here today. Very, very nice. Nice crowd. Amazing. And then, of course, we'll have to go over here and see what's going on here, because this could be fun. All right. Hey, how's it going, bud? How are you? Pretty good, you? I'm doing good. Tell me your story. Our story? Yeah, what's going on here? You're on vacation station, too. Also, over at SasquatchTheLegend.com. Take some of these with you. Put it up here, like up here. There you go. Now, check out our website. we got podcasts, upcoming event calendars, uh, everything. Podcasts and everything. And we're also opening a store in Fort Washington. Should be open in a few months. This is popular. Oh, yeah. Cool. No doubt about it. No, no, it's definitely no. I mean, there Oh, are... yeah, and uh, we're also starting a tour bus company. Really? Yeah. Taking them to, like, the spots that Sasquatch was Exactly. In? You'll start in Fort Washington and make kind of an eight-hour trip around that peninsula cool. and look at all the hot spots. All you got to do is you pay me expenses and food. I'll take my shirt off, walk through the woods. They saw a Yeti. <laughs> but they won't know, is he coming or going? Is he so hairy? I don't know which way. It doesn't matter. You saw a Yeti. That's it. That's it. So. <laughs> and what is some of the stuff you have here? Show me. Uh, we, we sell a lot of books. Hold it up here. 
Got this one here. We saw a lot of Quantum Bigfoots by Ron, Ron Moorhead. I believe he's inside today. So yes, yes, I saw that. Um, we do t-shirts. We do all kinds of little knickknacks for the yeah. kids. <laughs> face masks and forms. Face masks. That's classic. <laughs> Very cool. And the warning sign. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sasquatch 2024. Very cool. It's Very awesome. Cool. Excellent. Your name? Chad. And? Callie. And you're together. I'm sorry. We are. You are very good. What do you think of your crazy husband? Um, I like him pretty good. He's okay? <laughs> yeah, he's you're not out of his mind, right? Not completely. Have you ever had the opportunity to see one of these things yet? I have not. Neither have I. I have not. So. And it's like, I want to, but I don't want to. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, I'd like to see it so I can verify it, you know, in oh, my yeah. mind. No doubt about it. But it's like, mm, maybe they're not friendly, you know, or maybe they want to come to dinner. I would assume they're not friendly. It's I would assumption? Too. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That's, I would too. It's like, look, if they were friendly, they'd already be here at Grat Gatlinburg, <laughs> they, right? They would be at uh, Crockett's Pancake House right now eating oh, yeah. if they were friendly. Good luck with your stuff. Yes, thank you so much. Oh, um, here. Vacation. I gave that. Make sure yeah. you have another one. Yes. Vacation Station TV. Wait I will check camera. it out. Thank you very much. Have a good one. There. How's that? There's always something going on here at the convention center. So if you come to the Gatlinburg Convention Center, you will find things going on all the time. In fact, out on the, the uh, kiosk, they had something going on right after this. I forget what it is, but they do have a lot going on. And here's the schedule. I'll show you this so you can see who's uh, coming into town. He's a dust. There. You can just still frame it and you can see who's talking today. Their course is Ron Moorhead, famous Ron Moorhead. You get to meet him in the vendor hall. That's what's cool about this place. You get to meet the people. <laughs> you big ape creations. And of course, they're having lectures in here. This is very cool. We can't, uh, won't be able to get them all, but I want to show you them. Wild Bill and Huckleberry. They've got uh, food being served here. So you can get snacks, drinks and snacks and food. And there's more stuff out here. See? against Sasquatch or zombies one or the other a lot of cool stuff an official black bear Very nice. <laughs> Where's the shadow? Hi. Bigfoot castings. So, pretty much, it's a lot like a forensic kit, right? That you would. Pour it into the cast, it dries pretty quick. Yeah, so we use 
Ultra Cal 30, which is different than uh, Plaster of Paris. Right. So it, it dries in 30 minutes. Depending on if it's a super cold day, right. it'll a take longer, longer. Yeah, or yeah. A wet day, a, little, but a normal yep. day, 30 minutes. 30 minutes, and then if you're, you know, if you wait 30 minutes, and a lot of folks, you know, it's getting dark or whatnot, you, you should be able to lift the Scoop print. It up. Yep. yep. Or, or it'll come up. Well, in all likelihood, it'll come up with a lot of dirt, and just leave that on there you, until you get home, and then you can wash it off after it dries. Yeah. Don't yeah. brush it lightly. Yeah. That's what I tell people. So to just go ahead and leave the dirt on. Yeah, well, that makes it more authentic, doesn't it? Right? Well, it, it shows yeah. it came out of the ground. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, to me. well, once you once you wash it, you know, take that dirt off, then you'll see the, you know, the, the print. You'll see the print and and the and the ridges of the skin and the you know. And they have, I'm assuming, fingerprints because everything has some sort of identification. Yeah, it's, just, it's their their feet is just like our feet. So it, 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 it's a it's a print. There's a print. Yeah, yeah. An identifier. Dur there's dural Don't ridges. Tell the government that'll have an RFID <laughs> chip in the face. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck. And what Bigfoot convention would be complete without an alien, right? Paranormal pops. They think of everything, don't they? They think of everything. There's food. Oh, that's a big pretzel. Wow. <laughs> this is where it's all happening, right here. I hope you enjoyed yourself today. Thanks for joining us on Vacation Station TV, your virtual getaway. And we are here at the Bigfoot Fest convention in the auditorium at the convention center in Gatlinburg. It's only going on one day, today only, so if you get a chance, come on out. If not, schedule it for next year, because this thing has become quite a big event. So thanks for joining us on Vacation Station TV, your virtual getaway, and we'll see you again very, very soon.